Hi, this is News Now, the Belmont Journal daily news show and community update. And I'm your host, Frederic Rigolo. Today, we have, like uh, every Friday, Franklin Tucker with us, the Belmontonian.com. So the big news um, this week, the second night of town meeting, they decided to vote for an Indigenous People Day, right? That's right. The Ind Indigenous People Day uh, um, uh, uh, me, uh, article, which was a, uh, a non-binding article, it was something that, that will be accepted by the uh, uh, select board if they want to, and they are going to, to uh, accept it, um, is, was a, basically a, a name change. It's changing the name of Columbus Day to Indigenous People Day. Um, when it was first uh, proposed by two students uh, from Belmont High School, back in the fall of last year, um, it seemed to have pretty good um, uh, support and it seemed like it was gonna slide through, it was gonna go right through. The select board had accepted the, um, uh, the article at, uh, to go to town meeting. Uh, but then there was, a, a, for the last month or so, a, a, a grassroots um, opposition to it uh, from a number of people saying that it was uh, demean, it's a, basically what they were, they were what the, the, op the opponents were talking, uh, were, were upset about was the preamble to the, uh, the article itself, which basically made a long list of, uh, of, of um, atrocities that Columbus is uh, reportedly have, uh, did and, and what his actions by coming to the Americas started like uh, the slave trade and uh, things like that. Um, they, they found that uh, hard, they found that uh, disrespectful to Italian Americans and began a, like I said, a grassroots effort to, to uh, basically uh, vote no on, on, the, on the measure, but then also uh, uh, put uh, amendments to the original article, which would have uh, switched the date uh, um, of uh, Indigenous Peoples Day to um, uh, a date in August, I believe it was August 9th, which is which is the UN, um, uh, which which the UN recognizes as Indigenous People Day, uh, but keep Columbus Day and maybe change the name to Italian Heritage Day. Um, yes, who but, did, who who filed the amendments? The, the the amendments were filed by Ralph Jones and others like Tommy Olson, um, uh, um, and that was uh, promoted by a, a former select board member, uh, Angelo Frenzy. Um, uh, and it basically, uh, uh, it, and um, so it came before a town meeting and there was a lot of, um, uh, a lot of stress, I think people <laughs> put on this uh, article, um, maybe they, thinking it was gonna cause a lot of uh, uh, tension and, and controversy. Turned out that the opponents were a little bit more a sound and fury than, than actual, um, you know, uh, a number of people who are going to vote against this. Um, I think uh, the community came out uh, strongly um, uh, just by the number of people who came and uh, spoke in favor of the original article. Uh, I know that, um, uh, you know, the, so both, so when it, when it came down to it, uh, there was only a couple of people who made any kind of statements that you would call, you know, a little out of bounds or maybe out of context, maybe trying to bring up some other things. Um, uh, so, uh, it, it, in fact, um, it just seemed like there was a, a, a large, a large number of people. I think he, um, it was um, 212 to 32, uh, 13 abstentions. Uh, so it, went, it passed pretty, pretty easily. Yes. And okay. again, no, no, not as much, not as controversial as, as it was. And a lot of times that's what happens at town meeting when people start talking to their neighbors. They're, they may, may they may not be as heated as they were online or or you know between in, in just their own group. So I think anytime you bring people together, it kind of softens whatever their their debate was. Yes, and this article was supported by the select board, right? Or by Adam Dash, the chair of the select board, but the two <laughs> others, so Roy Epstein uh, filed an amendment. And and finally, Mark Paolillo uh, was for the, uh, the article, but well, well Mark Paolo, did the amendments. Yes, he uh, voted yes on all the amendments and all the in the original article. Basically, he wanted to uh, wanted to show support to everyone. And... Uh, um, I, I like what he said. He said when it finally came to, uh, when he finally had to decide on something, he 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 did what a lot of us do: <laughs> call our children, <laughs> see what he what they have to say. Uh, um, 
and uh, it was a it was an interesting um, uh, decision by the select board to to vote two to one on favor of all the uh, amendments and articles. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So now moving on on the school committee. So it looks like it takes a village to cut the budget. In a everyone has to hold their hands during austerity. Um, well, the, the what we do know is that uh, the uh, school budget will be um, presented uh, to the school board, to the uh, school board, to the uh, school committee, uh, and also the um, uh, select board, um, a final budget, I should say, uh, with numbers um, um, that, they, that they- On, on May they 11, they say, they say they have to decide before May 11, right? To, to, let, to, to let time for the Warren Committee to, to make their recommendations. Yes. That's right. It has to, uh, the Warren Committee has to uh, uh, sign off on it, basically, uh, and that has to happen. Be and that has to happen uh, a number of weeks before town meeting, so town meeting members can then see what the um, what the uh, Warren Committee, which is the um, financial watchdog for the for the for town meeting, uh, has 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 stated. And they want to see the um, uh, what their analysis of it is, and that's going to be something that is going to be very important because there's. Uh, even though there, there is a chance uh, that there could be uh, extra money from, from the federal government to uh, uh, save the day, let's say that some people think it will occur to uh, basically soften the blow of the, um, uh, of, uh, the $2.1 million that they have to cut, um, uh, there still has to be a number of, um, uh, of reductions. And we see, and, 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 and we're also seeing that a number of people are saying that, that number of people, a number of groups are getting together and saying, I know that cuts are coming, but you have to either save this or introduce this position or, uh, because, uh, they say these are important. The most, uh, noted example is, uh, a diversity, uh, director for the, uh, schools. Yeah, so that was that was uh, the bunch of the of the discussion on Mon on Tuesday night uh, about this uh, and but they were uh, can you uh, list what was in the discussion before so the athletics for ninth grader uh, were considered that uh, but they yeah. decided to to yes to to keep them and then. Well, the, well, I think the num like they like they uh, everybody says the numbers are still fluid. They're still going over it. They're still finding money here and there, um, so they don't want to make their final announcement. But there are uh, certain thing uh, positions that they are pretty sure that they will have to cut if they don't have money. Uh, if money isn't coming in, um, uh, one thing is uh, freshman athletics. Uh, another would be transportation for athletics. Um, also clubs, uh, again, will be cut, uh, uh, especially the arts programs. Um, so, but not, but not the diversity director the community no, no, say, no, no, not that one. We want this new position. That's right. I think they've been heard loud and clear. So I, I would expect to see a diversity director for the schools. Now there's also people at the, uh, the, uh, the arts wing of, uh, of uh, parents and they're saying, no, you can't cut the music program at the middle school or, or a uh, uh, music program at the middle school. I, I should say remove a position, a, a music position at the middle school because that really starts a lot of children on their way through their music education, which is a, a which I don't know if people know is, is a very important and very uh, well um, uh, respected uh, program that you know we see children going off to music programs and uh, you just need to see the list of awards that uh, the music department gets receives in Belmont for the last 30 years so it, it is a, a situation where you're seeing that parents um, and groups are saying no we want certain things even though we have to cut 2.1 million dollars so what will that do that's also have a countering effect if you have if you do one thing for one side another side has to take the hit and that could be more uh, extracurriculum it could be transportation for all students it could be extra fees and a lot of, and now i think a lot of people are are moving towards well let's make them pay another 50 dollars on top of the 300 and 400 dollars they pay for each individual uh, student they have
So, and, and Belmont is, is, um, has one of the highest fee systems already. So how, how many more dollars can, can, can the parents uh, accept? And also the special ed share in the elementary level uh, might be cut, or do you think that they will change? So what, what will be their final decision? Do we have a peak on that? Again, is everything is fluid, and I think you're seeing a lot of people coming in and saying, uh, well, we, went, we have to save this, we have to save this. And I think there is a list, maybe not official, but it's on, in the head of the uh, school committee and the, and the uh, school uh, administration, where they say, okay, these are the ones we, we will put in first, you know, we will save first. Uh, you know, the special ed uh, uh, chairs are, are things that we've wanted and you know, we don't have. Uh, so they have a list in their head like, if, okay, if we get the money, if, if there's money can be found, and I know they're trying to be creative again, trying to find money uh, in the budget um, st uh, to, to save positions, these are the positions that we will save. But they're also, but, that count, but the counter of that is that the school committee has, or is now uh, almost unanimous about saving core curriculum. And that means saving the the online the, the, the teachers that come in every day. You know, so this is not if if they have to make cuts, it will be with the uh, you know if if, if push comes to shove, uh, they've said we're going to save the you know the the teachers in the middle school and the high school. And if that comes at the uh, expense of um, let's say uh, the teacher, the music teacher at the Chenery then that's what has to be. And that's what austerity is. I mean, the cuts have to be made. You know, the people have spoken, cuts, and that's how you make those cuts because we can't raise taxes. Yes. So does that mean that segment B of town meetings that we'll be discussed in early June might be uh, difficult? Oh, there's already people who are saying it's, uh, one person said it's going to be, a, uh, if, 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 if the people who are making amendments, uh, the, well, there's rumors about, uh, people making amendments to the budget, and that's very hard, difficult to do because a budget's not like Indigenous People Day. You know, <laughs> Indigenous People Day, you can have it. It's nice. It's it's something that it, it shows a, 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 the direction of the town and shows how the commitment that that town has to civil rights and and restorative history and, and it restores it restorative justice. But it's not like it will if you either have it or you don't have it. It's not going to cause uh, the budget to fall apart and, and and that's what a lot of people fear that they want uh, you know the school committee and the town wants the budget to come out and have and be as transparent as possible so people aren't fiddling with as they say fiddling with uh, with numbers i mean the last time i can remember that, that it happening was for a tennis court where they took money from one place and they and, and the and the town committee changed that once you start taking um, money out from one place and, and putting it into another, you know, it, it's, it's something that can really uh, uh, make a budget almost unmanageable. You know, you, you, the way you have to, you know, if you take something out of one thing, it's like um, uh, when you pull a string on a sweater, you know, it, you, you pull the, the little, the, the wool from the sweater, the whole sweater may may collapse. <laughs> it may just it may not be you know you may have lost one arm of that sweater. That's what could happen when, if you start uh, moving budget items around at the last minute town meeting. That's a, that's a nightmare scenario in in many ways. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Franklin. We will have more to report on the budget in the com upcoming weeks. So thank you very much for coming on the show today. So it was News Now, the Belmont Journal Daily News Show. And see you next time. Thank you.